Stage 1 kidney disease, also known as chronic kidney disease, CKD, stage 1, is the earliest stage of kidney disease and is characterized by mild kidney damage. In this stage, the kidneys are functioning normally, but show some signs of damage, such as protein or blood in the urine, or imaging test results that indicate the presence of kidney damage. In many cases, people with stage 1 kidney disease may not experience any symptoms, as the kidneys may still be functioning well enough to adequately filter waste and excess fluid from the blood. Stage 1 kidney disease is typically diagnosed through routine blood and urine tests. Blood tests may reveal a slight increase in creatinine levels, a waste product that is normally filtered out by the kidneys or a decrease in the glomerular filtration rate, GFR, which is a measure of how well the kidneys are filtering waste from the blood. The GFR measures the amount of blood that passes through the glomeruli, tiny filters in the kidneys that remove waste and excess fluid from the blood. A healthy GFR is typically considered to be above 90 milliliters per minute per 1.73 square meters. The GFR is determined through a blood test that measures the level of creatinine in the blood. Like we mentioned in the previous video, what do kidneys do? Creatinine is a waste product that is produced by the muscles and filtered out of the blood by the kidneys. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, the level of creatinine in the blood may be elevated, which can indicate a decrease in GFR. In addition to measuring kidney function, the GFR can also help to assess the severity of kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease CKD, is often classified into stages based on GFR, with stage 1 representing a GFR of 90 milliliters per minute per 1.73 square meters or higher, and stage 5 representing a GFR of less than 15 milliliters per minute per 1.73 square meters. We'll go into detail about stage 5 in a later video. The GFR can be affected by a variety of factors, including age, gender, body size, muscle mass, and underlying medical conditions such as diabetes or high blood pressure. As such, the GFR may be adjusted based on these factors to more accurately reflect kidney function. In summary, the GFR is a measure of how well the kidneys are functioning to filter waste products from the blood. It is determined through a blood test that measures the level of creatinine in the blood and is used to assess kidney function and diagnose kidney disease. While the GFR is an important measure of kidney function, it is not the only factor that is considered in the diagnosis and management of kidney disease. Urine tests imaging studies, and other blood tests may also be used to assess kidney function and diagnose underlying conditions that may be contributing to kidney damage. It is important to note that kidney disease is often asymptomatic in the early stages, meaning that people with stage 1 kidney disease may not experience any symptoms. However, it is important to be aware of potential symptoms, such as fatigue, Fatigue is a feeling of tiredness, exhaustion, or lack of energy that can affect a person's ability to perform daily activities. In stage 1 kidney disease, the kidneys may not be functioning as well as they should, which can lead to a buildup of waste products in the blood. These waste products can cause fatigue by affecting the body's metabolism, which is the process by which the body converts food into energy. In addition, the kidneys play a role in producing a hormone called erythropoietin, which stimulates the production of red blood cells. In stage 1 kidney disease, the kidneys may not produce enough erythropoietin, leading to anemia, which can also cause fatigue. Other factors that can contribute to fatigue in people with stage 1 kidney disease include poor sleep. Kidney disease can cause sleep disturbances, which can contribute to fatigue. Medications Some medications used to treat kidney disease or other conditions can cause fatigue as a side effect. Depression or anxiety 
chronic illness can take an emotional toll, leading to depression or anxiety, which can contribute to fatigue. Urinary Changes In stage 1 kidney disease, the kidneys are still functioning normally and are able to filter waste and excess fluid from the blood. However, there may be some signs of kidney damage, such as changes in urine output or composition. Here are some urinary changes that may occur in stage 1 kidney disease. Protein in the urine. Normally the kidneys filter waste products and excess fluid from the blood, while keeping essential proteins in the body. However, in early stages of kidney disease, the filtering system can become damaged, allowing protein to leak into the urine. This condition is called proteinuria and is often one of the first signs of kidney damage. Proteinuria can be detected through a simple urine test and is an important indicator of kidney health. Blood in the urine Another common side of kidney damage is the presence of blood in the urine, which is also known as hematuria. Blood in the urine can be caused by a variety of factors, including infections, kidney stones, or injury to the kidneys. In some cases, hematuria may be a sign of more serious kidney disease and requires further evaluation by a healthcare provider. Changes in urine output some people with stage 1 kidney disease may experience changes in their urine output, such as increased frequency or decreased volume. This may be due to changes in the kidney's ability to regulate fluid balance in the body. In some cases, people with stage 1 kidney disease may also experience nocturia, which is the need to urinate frequently at night. Changes in Urine Composition the kidneys play an important role in regulating the balance of minerals and electrolytes in the body. In early stages of kidney disease, changes in kidney function can lead to imbalances in urine composition, such as high levels of potassium, phosphorus, and sodium. It is important to note that not all people with stage 1 kidney disease will experience changes in their urine. However, monitoring urine output and composition can be an important tool in evaluating kidney function and detecting early signs of kidney damage. Fluid retention Fluid retention, also known as edema, can be a symptom of stage 1 kidney disease, although it is less common than in later stages of the disease. Edema occurs when excess fluid builds up in the body's tissues, causing swelling and discomfort, particularly in the legs, ankles, and feet. In some cases, edema may also affect the hands, face, or abdomen. The kidneys play an important role in regulating fluid balance in the body by filtering excess fluids from the blood and removing them from the body through urine. However, in stage 1 kidney disease, the kidneys may not be able to filter fluids as effectively as they should, leading to fluid buildup in the body. Other factors that can contribute to edema in kidney disease include Sodium intake Sodium, a key component of salt, can cause the body to retain fluid. In people with kidney disease, reducing sodium intake can help to reduce edema. Medications some medications used to treat high blood pressure or other conditions can cause edema as a side effect. It is important to talk to your healthcare provider about any medications you are taking and their potential side effects. Heart disease. People with kidney disease are at higher risk for heart disease, which can also cause edema. High blood pressure. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is a common complication of stage 1 kidney disease. In fact, hypertension is a leading cause of kidney disease, and it can also contribute to the progression of kidney damage. When the kidneys are not functioning properly, they may not be able to regulate blood pressure as effectively as they should. This can lead to an increase in blood pressure, which can further damage the kidneys, creating a vicious cycle. In addition, hypertension can cause damage to the blood vessels in the kidneys, which can lead to decreased blood flow to the kidneys and further damage to the kidneys' ability to filter waste products from the blood. 
In addition to controlling blood pressure, it is important to manage any underlying medical condition that may be contributing to kidney damage, such as diabetes or high cholesterol. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a healthy diet and regular exercise, can also help to slow the progression of kidney damage in stage 1 kidney disease. Abnormal blood tests In stage 1 kidney failure, the person's blood test may show abnormalities, indicating that their kidneys are not functioning as well as they should. Some of the blood tests that may be abnormal in stage 1 kidney failure include creatinine. Creatinine is a waste product produced by the muscles that is filtered from the blood by the kidneys. In stage 1 kidney failure, the kidneys may not be filtering creatinine as effectively as they should, leading to an increase in blood levels of creatinine. Blood Urea Nitrogen BUN. BUN is a waste product produced by the liver and filtered from the blood by the kidneys. In stage 1 kidney failure, the kidneys may not be filtering BUN as effectively as they should, leading to an increase in blood levels of BUN. Glomerular Filtration Rate GFR. GFR is a measure of how well the kidneys are functioning in filtering waste products from the blood. In stage 1 kidney failure, GFR may be mildly reduced, indicating that the kidneys are not functioning at optimal levels. Other blood tests that may be abnormal in stage 1 kidney failure include electrolyte levels, such as potassium and sodium, and levels of calcium and phosphorus in the blood. Abnormal electrolyte levels can affect the functioning of the heart and muscles, while abnormal calcium and phosphorus levels can affect bone health. Swelling in the feet and ankles it is less common for people with stage 1 kidney disease to experience swelling in the feet and ankles, also known as edema, as the kidneys are still functioning well enough to adequately filter waste and excess fluid from the blood. However, in some cases, people with stage 1 kidney disease may experience mild edema or fluid retention, particularly if they have an underlying medical condition such as high blood pressure or diabetes that can contribute to fluid buildup. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, it is important to talk to your healthcare provider who can help determine the underlying cause and recommend appropriate treatment. These symptoms may indicate progression of the disease or underlying conditions that are contributing to kidney damage. Some common causes of stage 1 kidney disease include diabetes. High levels of blood sugar can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, leading to reduced kidney function. High blood pressure. High blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, leading to reduced kidney function. Family history. A family history of kidney disease may increase a person's risk of developing stage 1 kidney disease. Age Kidney function naturally declines with age, and older adults are more likely to develop stage 1 kidney disease. Obesity Obesity can increase the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure, both of which can contribute to kidney damage. Smoking Smoking can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, leading to reduced kidney function. Certain medications. Long-term use of certain medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or some prescription pain medications, can damage the kidneys and contribute to stage 1 kidney disease. Kidney infections. Recurrent or untreated kidney infections can damage the kidneys and lead to reduced kidney function over time. In summary, stage 1 kidney disease is characterized by mild kidney damage and may not present with any symptoms. It is important to manage underlying conditions such as high blood pressure and diabetes through lifestyle modifications and medication, as well as to have regular checkups with a healthcare provider to monitor kidney function and assess for any changes or progression of the disease. With proper management, the progression of stage 1 kidney disease can often be slowed and further damage to the kidneys can be prevented, allowing individuals with CKD to live long and healthy lives. If you've gotten value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel as this is part 1 of 5 in the series related to kidney disease.